Okay, so welcome everyone to this new episode of You Fly the Experimental Debugger. Today we will continue making this awesome debugger and if you'd like to follow along, please don't hesitate. And welcome. If you have any questions, you can post them on Twitter or YouTube and I'll be there to answer. With that said, let's start by opening the project. Here we go. If we compile, I don't know if we compile at all. Okay, it's taking a little bit longer than expected. Okay, it does compile. So let's see what we left off here. I believe the last thing we did was we were working with this part of the such cases where we just were like thinking about, well, see the assembler itself it's going to do a loop you know across the whole code section and every time we for example c file pointer by here we go here we update the c file pointer by by the size that we move from the opera uh, so we yeah that's the last thing we did we defined this opera uh, or operation prototype thing which basically for us works pretty much like saying I mean the, the whole idea of a prototype is like to have uh, the operation and if not the I mean if not the specific operation you know like the whole thing about bother RAM and stuff like that we're gonna have um, uh, the main opcode you know that's the whole thing out of pro out of pro and across uh, other stuff, for example, let me go to other product if we could. Yeah, this is the prototype. And well, right now we have uh, pretty much the direction, you know, certain information about if there is still mother RAM that we can fetch uh, later of the main opcode. Uh, the buffer for the mnemonic itself, which probably uh, mm, uh, I don't want this right here. You know, probably want something. We do have an instruction, is it? Or I erase it. Where is this? Uh, no, yeah, I think we were raised, but we can do something here, you know. Um, probably, let me see what else here we have uh, operand count, the operands, which by themselves have. Okay, some data information about them. Um, the uh, 
Uh, okay, okay. Probably uh, let's see. So we do want the operands, but the operands are gonna be decoded afterwards since that's the way we have it right here. So we just want the operand count so we can go and fetch them if needed. And the operand count it has some special considerations because if you remember, uh, uh, let me see here. Where is it? Let me let me close this. Let me close them. We have the general purpose instructions and I believe this is a sun extension. I don't remember where did we have the encoding for three operands. Probably it's here. This is the other. I mean, we do have. Well, we can define it. I mean, it's because I do remember that we had some information where. Uh, well, I mean, we know here. I mean, here they are the operand counts and how they are. They are memory addressing for each one. Uh, but there was. I mean, there were just three cases, I believe. I mean, if we have three operands, uh, they have to be encoded. I believe there was. One was either on the rec, the other was on the mother RAM, and the other was on the SIB, I believe. Uh, well, I don't know, let, let's see. It's gonna be hard for to find a tree operand thing here, but I it, it was on the th starting port, I believe should be here
okay okay so yeah it's true we have uh, the mother M and the rec field of course rec field can only encode uh, registers there, are, there cannot be memory address in modes in the reg opcode field uh, th that's why we have the mother M field to encode some memory address and it makes sense because if you think about it we'll have in in x64 and x86 we don't have the possibility of moving data from memory to memory you know it always has to pass through a register so or yeah so that's the reason why the encoding works that way and it doesn't allow that kind of possibility uh, so we have just in the mother end we have a possibility for register register thing or register to memory and vice versa so I, that's that's the normal case, you know. And normally, I believe, I mean, with special registers like the book and control registers have to be uh, on the rec of code field as well. So that's the those are some special cases. We also know of the special fields that they tells me the order, which is the first operand, which is the source, which is the destination. If that makes sense. So I think that's good. Uh, we have information that we need to interpret the mother and by and yeah so it's a little bit um, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's like uh, I mean normally well what they say here is that if you don't need the record cup field it's gonna be something Bananas, you know. I mean, it's, it's gonna be something the the that the opcode itself defines by itself. So it is not it's not that. I mean, we know that for sure that it's not necessarily to be zero or one or whatever. It's gonna be something specific of the main opcode, you know. And yeah, I mean, you can see here, for example, some of the cases we see. Uh, uh, we see special things on the mod RAM, for example. Mm. Well, for example, yeah, for example, this one. We have a 101, which 101 means something specific in the table, but in this case, we are not mean that, or, or, probably we do. I mean, because it's a, well, I mean, we have to check that. I mean, but they are specific, you know, we don't have to, they are, they cannot be changed. So that's uh, something we have, let me check that because if, if, if it impl for example, this, this, is this, uh, bit test and set, which uses the register in an immediate, it just it shows. I mean, if that makes sense. It's just the register and the immediate. But here we're just seeing one zero one, which probably it's uh, uh, it depends. But thirty two, it has to be some of these registers. So yeah, I mean. So yeah, I mean, does that mean, pro well, let me check it, I mean, let's take that, that out of it. So let me find it somewhere. This is the program bin. I can probably find it here. I oh, need this. Well, why not?
okay this is bx uh, so yeah normal well probably I mean I was trying to find a tree a tree up code thing a tree up run sorry uh, we, which BCHI has but it's say a VEX which for now we don't care too much but if it, that's the case Yeah. Well, you know, something. Sometimes that's the thing that happens. Just this. All right. So with that in mind, pretty much, basically, we can translate it. And. You know, we can have we can have. literally the, th the thing we have here where is it I don't care about this let me go and move this over here so we can see the tables we want uh, I mean I think the simplest thing to do with this uh, assembler is to be table driven mode you know uh, it's gonna be super much simpler and since there are a lot of upcodes it has to be the I mean the simplest thing to do is a table you know uh, that's something that we discussed in the last stream I believe so one thing I wanna see I mean how much useful it is to encode like this, you know? I mean because this is the whole thing, you know. I mean here we're seeing everything. Like here we are looking at hey we have a mod rec RM which I mean it's not necessarily that we have to encode it this way, of course. Uh I was really uh, th th there was something to mention here is like uh, I think it was in the specification that I read about it was like well it was in another format this is PDF so it's gonna be a little bit crazy but uh, it was for an arm uh, spec it was an arm spec and it was more like a formal verification of it but the thing that they did and I mean it's kind of nice because I mean that it's way much simpler to parse in this in, in that case it was an XML file you know the XML file had the whole set of encodings it was more like a, uh, how they call this uh, the regist uh, well I mean it was pretty much something like this you know where you have some variable data and some specific data fields bit fields and you I mean the thing I mean the, the purpose of it was just to have a parser you know that reads the XML and grabs the uh, the regular forms, regular strings. Well, that stuff, you know, it, it reads that stuff, and it it was pretty much the table, you know, it it serves as a table. So I mean, I'm mentioning that because uh, in I mean, we have to have the table, you know, and there's two ways. One is to make the table ourselves, so the encoding it will be pretty much specific to the things we need or we can find a way to parse the table you know somewhere like or this one but this is a PDF so it's encrypted it's encrypted I don't know if it's encrypted and it's also uh, compressed you know it has bananas into it so parsing the PDF is not probably the thing that we want 
we want I mean it can be an XML or the whatever you know a data file you know something like t even a txt would be nice but <laughs> I mean yeah it's uh, I mean I don't see why not to uh, let me see if we can find it x86 upcode table now th there's a caveat to this of course and it is that uh, yeah for example they have the XML here now there's a caveat with this and is that of course if we don't know or we are not sure about the uh, specificity you know the how reliable the these tables are of course I mean they say oh yeah they are they are super reliable and stuff now I mean uh, of course I mean even though I mean <laughs> there was this guy that works at ARM, uh, uh, Mr. Alistair, right? He made this specification of the ARM sixty four, and I mean he he that works at ARM he even he didn't even uh, trusted the own specification for the ARM you know, since it's a whole set of bugs and stuff like that. So I mean it, th that's something that of course is going to happen to the. Uh, to these, for example, you know, I mean, they tell us that hey, we have these instruction sets, these encodings, but hey, I mean, there, there's more to it, you know, because the specification just tells us about how something that has to be implemented, but the the architecture itself is the one that, of course, it, it respects the specification, but it can be it can be done any way that they want, you know. I mean, we can have the same specification in two uh, architectures totally different for example one, one clear example could be for x86 specification we have well no so for x64 we have the intel specification the intel architecture and the amd64 architecture which are totally different micro architectures and uh, but they will implement the same specification for the x64 so so what that means is that uh, both of them even though they try to get to the same point that is to respect the specification they are going to have totally totally different corner cases for specific instructions that are not uh, explained here you know Th this like uh, these obscure instructions, let's say, or these uh, unrepresented instructions, or the, the instructions that they don't even exist in the specification, they are they will do because you can encode it in the architecture, and they're gonna happen to do specific stuff to the processor that we don't know, you know, we, that we don't know that we that. I mean, it's it's gonna happen for sure. It's it just depends that that and there are many things you know. There are many um, uh, there are many tests. They 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 use many tests. That that's the whole purpose of verification, so that the specification is correct. And this is for hardware, but they they do it for pretty much a lot of stuff, compilers and uh, system operating systems and stuff, whatever. But I mean, we're talking here about hardware. So, the hardware, even though it has a specification on it, and it it can it can repurpose it. I mean, we can. They pretty much they're gonna probably they're gonna fit into it, but they're gonna have a lot of corner cases that we don't. That they don't even thought about it, or they don't even verify that they were possible. So all those books are gonna be there in the hardware. So. That, that's for specification wise so we don't want I mean 
I mentioned this because we don't want to add more problems to the to the tables themselves. I mean, probably uh, for now. I mean, we, I'm just mentioning because it's important for you to know if you want to do something like this is that you have to think about where does the data come from you have if you i mean if you really care about the, like the information that they are going to punch you uh, let's say here in the isa itself you know you have the isa and the isa you can make uh taste cases and really really put dig deep into the micro architecture and, and see that really they are doing whatever they they should do you know and uh so i mean for now i mean for starters we're not gonna do uh something like that but i was just want to mention that So I think the best thing we got without doing the test cases and going formally is this table, you know? I mean, this is the table that uh, even though it's just, uh, let's say it conforms to this specification, it just do it in its minimum way, let's say. But that's, I mean, that's, that's what we want for now. We want to follow this kind of table, you know, even though if, you do, if we do it manually or we try to find a way to read this stuff and have a table just be like, do this. L let me, let me, let me see if I can find it. I don't think so. I don't know if I don't think so. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I mean, Agner's Mr. Agner's Fox instructions are more. Uh, there are for throughput and latencies and yeah yeah we don't need that specifically it's been missing so we're in uh, uh,
So let's let's think about uh, at least the format. You know, if finally we decide that we use a table, it's fine. Uh, but let's let's try to to think. I mean, for now, later we check for that. I guess so. Let me see. Uh, for example, right here, I would like to go. And if you see here, I mean, right here, I uh, I'm straightforwardly thinking on going to the table itself, which I mean, it's not too bad. But let me see here. Let, let uh, we can say here. I believe we have this initialization. So I want to say something like this. I prefer something Where is Zorina? Here is Zorina
so we can let the user to allocate it yeah I think that pretty much does it you know so we can uh, for example do something which is this this has to go over here as well and Yeah. Now the thing here will be right here we are allocating the whole thing at once, which is not bad. So we can say something like this. Uh, probably we don't I mean we can let the I think that's good. We don't need this at all. Now, of course, this is gonna be done that way if you if we do that case. So, what do we do here? It's I don't see any problem with that. Well, it's it's the same, I guess. So we can have uh, the thing I was like thinking. Well, we have the opcode itself. We want to initialize them. And what else? This assembly. I prefer it to be there. For some the up because well we have to do something special there. But this is the whole thing, you know. I mean, either we think something clever for my allocation, I can put it here.
we probably we don't want to do this because it has a lot of caveats yeah I mean the user data information that we need I prefer that the uh, API provides it and in that case yeah I mean it depends on the system resources because uh, yeah I mean it has the pros and cons for one thing it's good because if the user lets us the 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 the, the information we I mean we let that granularity in the sense that uh, we're letting the user we're having the flexibility for them to give us I mean they know the API we know that how much uh, data they are using or how much memory they are allocating in the API or in the in the system that they are using so if they want to implement the disassembler they can just tell us hey you have this thing to work of course I mean that's not even I mean that's not feasible in any case in that case I would probably say that we want a little bit something more clever in our part and say hey I mean we're, we're, we're gonna take care about the memory location for our services but we also will will manage that memory allocation for the thing what we want in this case I mean the, the whole problem of memory allocation would be just the tables you know depending on how big they are or whatever that would be I mean that's the most concern but the memory allocation shouldn't be the user responsibility so I prefer it to be uh, alone itself which I mean it's not too bad for now I'm gonna keep it that way so let me do that and let's say we have you find system this day For now, we're gonna do the same thing that we've been doing before.
Okay, okay. I like it. Let me see. Well, we can pop. Probably we not. We have.
Well, you know what? <laughs> Hold cards. Let's go back a little bit. Thank you, Mr. Compiler. All right, so we just have that, you know, for information in that case, which is all right. Uh, so the thing I want to do now is go I'm going to start implementing each one of the code sections, which is right here. And we can store by, uh, for example, the code, print up code paths, instruction symbols and stuff. Okay. 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 Let me put this up here. Uh, we did that. Our tobacco, we have another ramp up. Oh, yeah, four stars. Okay. Okay. So, the simplest thing to do could be to start defining this thing, how we're going to use it. So, let's try by doing this one because this is the, f even though it's like the one more complicated. Is the one that's gonna tell us pretty much the encoding. The encoding for the these tables that we want, you yeah? So we can start by simply saying, hey. We just want to say, hey, I passed you this assembly state, blah, 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 blah. And we have here uh, the perfect group. So we can, you know, it's necessary for telling us something about it. For example, the, the addressing mode and stuff, you know, the up count, the up count stuff as well. Now this is going to go out, so we have to say that I wanna perfect in perfect yeah the perfect group I mean for pointer and Max file uh, B group. Are you serious? <laughs> 
Uh, well, well, that's the case. Uh, well, we can say that's the case. We can keep it that way. I just want to see here in 32t refix index zero prefix index it's less than by count Okay, and well, we can keep this here. Prefix index. Now, this is a car, so that's okay. It's gonna work. Uh, keep prefix. Uh, we're gonna take a look at each one, and prof this is the case for this. Okay, prefix rex. Let me see the definitions. Okay, we didn't define him at all because since it probably could be that it's one, it's more like if we want to use the flags, you know. So it's more like, hey, we want to get this thing I probably I can define them you know as the things they are and of course we have to uh, I want to take back, you know, I want to define the flags, but just after I know which flag we're meaning to. So, for example, uh, let's say we have F0 and F0 is unique, I believe. And we have, and of course, it's going to be luck. This is. I'm gonna say probably when I say prefix flags. And I can play here. This is F2, F3, for F2 we have two repne and bound. think about this uh, 
the whole purpose, I mean, the first are like kind of a guess. Since the translation has to deal with this. Mm, I mean, it's not bad, but uh, let's see. For example, right here, it could be something. Okay, we have the flags, you know, each of the flags that possibly can be each of them. And the flags, of course, for the sys for deciding each of them, we can we can even decide here. You know, there's no need to go further. The whole need, the whole thing to see. We know for for each group, you know, we have some definition here. Like, I mean, if it's a uh, revenue or bound, it depends because this is used for instructions that are uh, strings. And this is for the bound. Now, the thing that's gonna be mandatory, probably this is not super necessary for this to be done at first because uh, it's a lot of main of code dependency. So we can, I mean, we know we have the group there, we have array cache. We just need to. Now, uh, we, can, we can even do this later now that I think about it. We can first focus on the opcode band. So the opcode band. We know it, you know. We can even pass it like a, like a value. Now, may not buy. It, it probably is going to have some escape opcodes that we have to find. Now, the escape opcode. We, we know it's 0f. Can call it here. I'll have it. Upcode prefix escape. And there are for CMD we have mandatory prefixes, which can be the same. It's F two and F three. Uh, seem the mandatory it can be F2 or F3 and the scale is also mandatory so I can call it mandatory as well so these are mandatory and REX has to come after the mandatory you know so I can even put them over here. So I mean, if we see them as in order, this has to be here. We have BX. Uh, we don't know right now for BX, so I'm gonna do this bananas. But for this, this can be in any order. You know, I can say t -t -t any order. And for this, they have a specific order because we have escape mandatory and CD mandatory, and and then REX. So it has to be like this. Uh, this is the order we're looking for. And since that is inside the prefix thing, we have to find out that you know we have to join it if we find something <laughs> so for extorters I can say if I um, may not buy minus one equal to rex prefix Pre buy we're, 
working today and pre-buy we have an opcode prefix to rex we can say hey we found our rex so we're gonna use it and we can say <laughs> preview 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 <laughs> pre-buy pre uh, probably want to say mandatory prefix mandatory prefix provide we know that mandatory prefix is gonna be main apply Now we have to be very careful about this because uh, it, it could be possible that we, I mean, the we don't have any prefixes at all. So we start that the main out by starts at the beginning, and if we, it could be that it could be something totally unbasted. So uh, only if. Prefix group by cam. We want to do this. Prefix by cam greater than two, probably. You know, we do this thing or. I mean, normally, bounce checking, I don't know, uh, uh, well, we probably want to do it because it would be a little bit wonky, a little bit janky if we don't do it. Uh, huh, huh. uh let's see that way pre-buy we can say we can say uh well since this is mono opcode for now we can say that we can just make sure that yeah we're not gonna have a previous byte so uh well we can we should we could skip this for now since this is mono upcode we have to do it of course but first we can say hey we know the mandatory prefix you know this is the byte and I just wanna say that I'm gonna use the same state when I've got table plus an offset, yeah. Now, uh, well, pretty much main up code. Uh, main of byte, main of byte, okay. Uh, 
so I can even say of of x is gonna be a not by shift and I wanna say four and zero x f and this is in y so we can say hey of x plus of y Stuff so that I like him. Now uh, normally Now this is going to be something So we look at there we have the entry and the entry of course is going to have some information about the thing we want which is up rank down We do have this, I believe, over here. I can use this. I can use this in here. Okay.
so we don't care too much about this anymore since we have these bounds of course right now we are not making that change but yeah I can we can resolve that before here we can yeah I'm gonna put it to do here and here this in here we don't care about this I just care about cinematic operant index and this is not gonna work that way anymore so we want the address in mode that's all we want and the addressing mode for each op kill or for each opera in this case, uh, it can be encoded, you know, just in the same way we had it, and say, hey, we have we have the operand addressing mode. I believe it was. I don't remember. Do -do -do. Operand. At the remote, yeah. You know, we go and fetch them, and we say, "Hey, we have some open stuff." Now, of course, well, if I fly open, fly open, we can fly up open. <laughs> I like it. Well, it's not gonna do it. Open, and we just wanna just gonna get it, you know. Plus, entry, open index, you know. Simple stuff going here. Open. Other smooth and here as you see well we're gonna go and fetch each one and this is this can be done with another table if we want it or we can do it with this switch which uh, we don't care too much because I mean even though there are it's it's a little bit huge it's not too bad you know I mean there are 24 addressing modes and of those 24 uh, I mean having a table of it it would be pretty much the same so <laughs> uh, <sighs> let me see the missing bracket uh, no, this goes. What's all this? Four. We have four here. Uh, don't care about that. Oh, here is the. This is correct. Okay. So that's all. So the whole thing here is that we have a switch here and the for loop going on. So with the for loop. We have an operand, and this is for the prefix. Let me put it here. Prefix decoding, just for making sense. Well, 
so each each advocacy mode it's a special it has its own meaning which I mean some of them are relatively similar like the modern ones you know the only thing they change about them is that um, uh, which register they do have inside there you know if it's a uh, MMX GPR or even an XMMM I guess yeah so that's the whole the whole difference in that but uh, for example we started here we have uh, uh, t -t -t direct address of course we have this which we don't care anymore about so we just want to say and we can go back to the tables they well 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 first of all we have the entry and the entry of course has to have the main mnemonic yeah main mnemonic you know we want the main mnemonic because the result whatever the result is uh, we're gonna use this now the main mnemonic can go directly to here where is it I mean wh what this first table looks like you know this thing like this by the mention array is pretty much this you know we want something like that because it can be fast in the way the encoding goes and also uh, uh, yeah I mean even though they are a lot and of course uh, the pattern of axes is uh, right now thinking about optimization we don't care too much but the way they uh, since we don't know like pretty much anything about uh, access patterns uh, looking at the table itself we know we also we will always go and fetch to the table so it would be nice to have it all the time but since it's huge which I mean it depends on the size and the encoding but uh, we we should have a, a way to encode this so that it's the minimum thing and if it fits in a uh, in memory the whole thing that would be pretty nice if not of course we will need to do something something specific about that but yeah so <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. so what we can have I mean we don't need the mnemonic to be in the same table because if you think about it I mean the mnemonic is not the fast lookup thing we we care about the mnemonic but just because of the entry you yeah? so we can have uh
so we do them and for the operands themselves we want to know this of course is going to tell us first you know you can say operat out operat here we go du, du, du. we want this thing so probably we want to call it like this here we go the uh, well it depends but we can say by upright uh, how is how do you call this mother and present and entry up can this is not totally true because uh, you know it can be that the operand it's inside the main so we will have that so probably the, the the thing here could be more like hey out let's say the entry no sorry uh, do, 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 And we wanna, we wanna. Foo, 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 that's encoded on the other table, isn't it? We don't have it here. So probably we want a mix of both tables. You know what I mean? I mean, we wanna have this like a fast lookup thing, something like that. And we want this. Where is it? This table as the real thing, because this thing tells us if there's a rec for example in this case this is yeah if the rec is included in here you know if it's something like uh, could be doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh,
Now, the V group is not gonna be sufficient in this case because including, I wanna say something like reg is in line or probably more main up code reg and I can say where is it add a probability person where is the thing this is this is like that main up correct you know I want both things to be true to say that we have a uh, mod around and we can have, I believe I can have a mother M in any other way. So, I mean, because, well, normally if you have the rack in here, that doesn't tell you that we are not gonna have a rack in here or a rack in somewhere, somewhere else. It's just telling you that we have a rack there. Uh, just if we can make sure, because if, even though, I mean, we can even the encoding can have that information as well. You know, encoding can have the math our present sorry, which is you know. Because encoding is the one itself that has the real information about hey, this is. Does this have the mother and present? And if you think about it, I mean, that's pretty much the whole information we need. We want, of course, I mean, this tells us what is in there, you know, the bit field. If there's some present information, if there's mother RAM, the tessor say B. If blah 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 and this table tells us the address in front the thing that is like what does this mean or how we know this how they are encoded now what's the meaning of them it's it's in here and then once we go here we can go and go to the uh to the modern specific thing which can be on the other side so I believe we can even go this way, you know? This assembly have SAB present now this SAB uh, well that's not super necessary because that can be found in the other part now including mother in person and I think there's no thing for example immediate immediate mode immediate present or it can be uh it can even be it can even be this, you know. If I I'm gonna call this it's not a big group, it's more like encoding of code instruction encoding. Encoding, okay? If I up instruction encoding This has 
has to be uh, we can have a bunch of B groups you know or we can just have Now this is probably uh, let me let me move this a little bit because this is gonna be somewhere else. So uh, I'm gonna put this over. I wanna make another file. Probably the thing. Yeah. Well, for now I'm gonna keep it there. Move these to another.
for example, for example, So yeah, I mean we have to treat the rec field as is, I mean even if it's not a variable and if it's encoded directly, I believe. But we still have to check that, you know, with that special instruction. Right now I'm not gonna do it but on the next stream or something so hmm why not why not some racks racks rack we can have what else is here
So we can have a bunch of um, a bunch of flags, of course, you know, which basically is gonna tell us what to look for. If that makes sense. So, for example. can say ba -ba. So we're written coding whatever however we got it, you know. And I wanna say we have a P feel flex. If you come have a bunch of ifs, you know. Keep it that way. I like him. Now, what about? And yeah, I mean, I prefer that the encoding itself. I mean, since the encoding pretty much has all the data that we want, you know, except for the addressing form, you know, or what does the fields mean at all, you know, which is the next thing that we want to get, you know, somewhere, somehow. So on the table. We can even add it, you know, inside. So we just have one table itself. Mm, it's not that crazy. But for example, per example.
For example, C, D, and E all imply mother and bytes. Uh, this doesn't. Um, so it's gonna call the flex. I don't know how is it coded, but for now we're gonna keep it that way. Rack fill, we have imply modem here. implies bx immediate So <laughs> I love them imply a modem if you see. <laughs> uh if they are not they normally imply immediate modes or some direct addresses, you know, some offsets or another thing like e flex, bx uh for example this ones this is modem this is address by the DSRS register pair. Uh, for example, move S compare S out S or O L O D S. These are special cases. So the, yeah, I mean this information is specific. So I like that. You know, it's. It's not like hey we we don't have the information that we need but we need both I mean both we have to merge them somehow you know so yeah I mean here we have specific fields that we want to have uh, acknowledge of that they 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 exist that they are encoded we don't care about I mean probably we don't care about the bit fields themselves probably we wanna uh just to make sure you know because the up table entry let's say uh yeah i mean the mnemonic itself we can use it and
so I have an idea of how to make this fast. Now, uh, I think. Well, I mean, we can we can keep the mnemonic inside the op table entry. It's not too hard. Now, op table. You can use it here. Now I believe we already have that as the this one. No, this is the mother RAM. Assemble state B group type operand reg data operand types. These are the things we want to have. I can move this onto uh, all this stuff. I'm going to move them.
I don't know why I did a <laughs> This is H. Uh, I don't know how do you rename but I can <laughs> Rename it like that. Do -do -do. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Probably we want to do something better here. But I'm gonna keep it here because why not? Why not?
Then I have this thing. We're not gonna do it anymore. Uh, rock field from Mother Ram. I believe we don't even have that. So yeah. Recess mistake, control five point your bad. Oh yeah, we have it, but we don't do anything with that. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm gonna put just something like that. This I'll do that for now. And this is all good pasta. This looks fine. The name also looks fine. This looks fine. So this looks. Let me see. This is the Bali file one. Yeah, that looks correct. That's the only if we have, so that's nice. And that's it. Okay. So I think that's nice. So we compile back, and yeah, I mean we have a lot to do uh, looking at forward with the tables themselves. But what is it? Hey, we have now. Uh, we started working with that, you know, which is all this stuff right here. So even though, even though it's like the first pass, we already have the, the structure for the tables, like a first pass thing, you know. I mean, I, I'm not totally sure that. I mean, of course, if that's gonna be the 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 final one, but hey, we we still have that thing. And another important thing here is like, well, we already understand that. Yeah, we need both tables. Uh, specific. We can probably compress them somehow differently. You know, in the sense that. Uh, I've been coding the cells. I mean, the first thing that I see here is like the encoders make the matchmaking, you know? It's like, hey, I have this bit field thing, I wanna match it with something. So I just wanna have that match thing. We're gonna have a consequent uh, flag state for each one of the bit fields, so we just go fast and look with some kind of this form here, you know? Like, hey, we have this, fla this, this flag, okay, we go and do something with it. And as well, I want something like this where we have uh, we have the real meaning of the fields that we want. Um, the other scene modes are really specific, so we don't have to do a lot much work than just saying, "Hey, this is the thing that we have to think about." And probably, I mean, um, 
we can even like compress the the two paths that we have right now that we first look up for the table thing or the mnemonic which is the one thing and then we go and look up for the mother and bite and stuff like that which is basically this stuff uh, I mean uh, we can I don't know we can uh, we can think about that later you know like if we keep the the two pass thing or we compress it in just one it all depends it all depends but yeah I mean we have a good rap I think I'm gonna stop here and yeah we will continue with this tomorrow or the next stream that makes sense uh, so say thank you very much for coming up in this stream if you have any questions you can post them on Twitter or YouTube and I'll be there to answer uh, yep I hope you enjoy it you enjoy this stream and I will see you all on the next stream take care